So I'm making a Pikachu suit of armor and what you just saw was what I've made so far including the newest part which is the chest piece. If you've been following me while I've been building this suit of armor you'll know I'm trying to do it as simple as possible. I want to use cheap materials and only hand tools, no electric tools. I want someone that's an amateur to be able to watch this video and actually be able to do it. A lot of the times on YouTube when you look up a homemade cosplay tutorial what they fail to mention in the title is that in their home they have a fully functioning workshop. Anyway let's do this. So I used a cheap EVA foam and wasn't actually a craft foam. I think it's actually used to put on the fort's anti-fatigue matting. Um, it's very cheap and it's great for this type of stuff. First thing I did was cut out the four main pieces of my armor which was the chest plate, the back plate and uh, two shoulder parts. Once I were cut out I used a contact adhesive to stick the shoulder parts to the front and the back. Once I was happy with how it was fitting around my body I cut out two strips of foam to use as rib support. I used contact bond to attach them to the back plate but I didn't use contact bond to stick them to the front plate. Instead I got some velcro from an old knee pad and I used hot glue to attach that to the front part of those uh, rib support straps. That way I can put the armor on easily and tighten it with the velcro once it's on. Then I started roughly sketching where the detail would be. I was going from a rough sketch I did of what I wanted it to look like. It probably won't turn out like that. I used some of my offcuts of the foam to cut out our little details like the chest emblem, uh, an extra layer for the shoulders and the pattern at the back to make it look like Pikachu's actual back. And now I'm about to put a picture of a goat on the screen. The reason I'm putting that up is I know that a lot of people when they watch cosplay tutorials they just kind of scroll down the bottom and kind of go to bits. I don't watch the whole video, so I'm putting the goat up just to confuse those people. Um, anyway, let's get on with the video. Now it's time to paint. The first thing I did was give the whole thing a layer of PVA glue because it dries really clear and it just kind of seals the foam and makes it easier to paint. I gave it a layer of silver chrome spray paint and went over that in yellow and then I kept alternating silver, yellow, silver. I did a bunch of layers because I wanted it to look like there was actual metal under the yellow. When that was all dry, I used some cheap acrylic paints to start hand painting the bits that I wanted to be dark brown. I then started to add some more detail with the black paint on um, that chest emblem That's gonna be the lightning symbol from Pokemon cards I actually asked on Twitter with a poll if people wanted it to be the lightning symbol or a pokeball You guys voted for the lightning symbol follow me on Twitter. Aha <laughs> self-promotion I also used the black to go over anywhere where two bits of foam were joined um, That's good because it covers up any adhesive you can see it also makes the joints look really old and battle worn Which is what I'm going for with this whole thing then as the very last step I had watered down black paint um, to the armor and then I just rubbed in with paper towel. It does a couple of things. It covers up any um, parts where the paint wasn't layered properly, but it also makes the whole thing just look, again, dirty, old, and battle-worn, which is... That's good, that's what I want, mm-hmm. And then it was finished. Jump in the comments and let me know what part of the armor you want me to do next, or if you have any specific ideas. The sword, which is shaped like Pikachu's tail, I actually got that idea from people suggesting it in the comments, so you guys partly own the armor. Not really, it's mine. Anyway, I'll leave you with some more videos. Pikachu out.